Obviously, Angela Dean's vicious fight with Michael Elizondi took center stage on 90 Day Fiancé Happily Ever After. But it was not the only ugly mess to come out of Episode 7, not when we look at Big Ed Brown and Liz Wood's engagement party. Ed cannot resist sabotaging his own happiness. He also cannot resist ruining Liz's night, and then blaming her for it. As Liz Wood's and Big Ed Brown's segment of Season 7, Episode 7 began, Liz was emanating happy vibes. She was chatting with her friends and getting her makeup done ahead of her engagement dinner. Liz didn't get to do this with her past two marriages. Now, at 29, she's having her moment, even if Ed's mother and daughter weren't coming. Liz and Ed arrived at the venue for their engagement party, looking the part of background criminals in a Batman movie. Wearing all white, Liz acknowledged that some of the guests might suspect a surprise wedding. Fortunately, it was not that, and Liz's grandmother had already vowed to make sure that it would not happen that way. Fans may feel a certain way about Big Ed based upon his on-screen behavior and the sexual misconduct allegations against him, but he clearly has a large circle of friends who like or at least tolerate him, and while multiple members of both sides of this relationship do not approve, a bunch came out to support them. To the camera, Ed compared himself to a blend of Danny DeVito and George Clooney. It's funny because we do have compared him to Danny DeVito, in that he thinks that he is the beloved actor, but his behavior better matches DeVito's It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia character, Frank Reynolds. There's no accounting for the Clooney thing, or for Eliza's Jason Sudeikis comparison. Girl, no. Liz's mother Patty was there to support her daughter. She has real concerns, including the major age gap between Anne and Liz. But Patty told the camera that she has seen Ed support Liz, and she can accept this up to a point. Ed being Ed, he could not resist blurting out that he should not call Patty mommy because she is younger than I am. Many things are true. That does not mean that Ed should say all of these things out loud. But Big Ed Brown's unbrand antics had scarcely begun. Something that we did not see was that apparently a woman had an interaction with Liz. Allegedly, she grabbed Liz's arm during a dispute. Liz had security remove her. But either the cameras did not catch this, or the show is deliberately holding the footage in reserve. Maybe over a missing weaver, maybe to play at the tell-all, I don't know, to be honest. For whatever reason, it's up to TLC's cards, Liz's description and Ed's description to fill us in. What we did get to see on our screens was Liz go in for a cozy moment with her fiancé. Ed, however, had other things twisting through his mind. There was no reason for Ed to interrogate Liz at the engagement dinner. If he truly had to question her, he could have done it at home. Either Ed couldn't stop himself from asking here and now, or he wanted to do it for the cameras on a mic. That, of course, has been a problem for them before. Either way, here is what Ed asked. Were you in a relationship with her? Ed demanded. Instantly, he ruined the moment. It's what he does. Ed was seemingly accusing Liz of being bisexual and inviting her ex to their engagement party and he did it all on camera while we both wore mics. Liz does the most sensible thing that one can do when confronted by Ed's nature. She left. At first she simply walked away, but Ed followed her, still demanding answer to his asinine question. Just for the record, Liz's sexual history before getting with Ed or getting back with him is none of Ed's business. Also, if the answer is yes, Ed is trying to out her on international television. Vile. In the face of Ed walking after her, Liz crossed the street. Under her breath but still on her mic, she accurately described Big Ed as he truly is. She noted that his insecurities caused him to act like this. Production caught up with Liz. There she spoke some hard truths about her fiancé. It truly hit home that Ed, the man who confronted and interrogated her like this, will never love and support her like she loves and supports him. Never. When Ed was finally able to get a hold of Liz on the phone, however, it was not to offer an apology. Instead, he berated her, accusing her of having ruined the entire evening for her own family and for their friends. Gross, dude. Unfortunately, Ed did not stop there. Apparently, Liz had once told him, following one of their miserable breakups, that she was done with men after that. While that was clearly not the case as she got back with him, Ed seems to have felt haunted by the suspicion that she had dated a woman, possibly after that split. It's not his business, but he's not ignoring those insecurities, and he's making them her problem. Just as he previously interrogated Rosemary Vega about her sexual history, he tells Liz that he wants to get to the bottom of this. Until Ed gets censored, he says the wedding isn't happening. 
This dude, in my opinion, is hopeless. Like this video to wish Liz all the best and the better man. Subscribe to this channel if you're a kind person and wish Ed all the best too, despite him being that gross.